Hi everybody, welcome to Priyanka Talks, like TED Talks, but I said Priyanka Talks because I'm going to be talking about something very meaningful today, uh, something that probably will help you, I hope it does because it's helped me a lot. So we're talking today about postpartum um, weight gain, weight loss, diet, what you should eat, what you shouldn't be eating, how you should diet if you actually go on a diet, if you're a breastfeeding mom just like me, what are the steps you should take. So basically everything that I've been doing right now. So I'm also almost um, six months postpartum now. I got a lot of questions. Yeah, I like the um Zani Rahar Reses ko baare ma, ramari bani meru journey yaar la share gari rathi Instagram marfat. So that's how I guess we are connected today because I have a lot of questions and I can't wait to answer them. So let's start with one of the most asked questions. Zun maile yu session ma paay se kiyo banda. What was my weight before I was pregnant and what is my current weight? So orupan thau ma I think maile yu session ma answer de ko chu but then let's do it again. Before I was pregnant ma I was already not in the healthiest shape. Uh, COVID, lockdown, so I wasn't in my best shape. Basically, I wasn't going to the gym or exercising. I'm just going to bus. So, I pregnant. I start my weight 67, which is actually pretty high for me because usually I'm 55 to 60 beach. So, start my weight high. Now, this is something I would recommend that you never do. Well, let's say early after my uh, delivery ki the more fit you are the more active your body is the more healthy you are it them exercise got and back so when it's saying that we pregnant on that you have to journey my you don't gain a lot of weight because you you have an active body so soon a legacy type go more but all with the motor that will ever start going to and saying I think you end up gaining a lot of weight like I did so yeah 67 but I started my journey and uh, I had a CS delivery so I had delivery baby could delivery I was hospitalized I was 98.6 kgs so I actually gained like 30 kgs 31 kgs which is a lot of weight I uh, was feel boy no first pregnancy enjoy it's not like I have any regrets I don't have any regrets but that's how much um, I gained uh, you know what the funny part is? So, CS boy, when I was hospitalized and things are in the hospital, but I got for a kid on the I made a mind my kid, and I was able to get a baby. 98 was easily 87 88 the boy. I was I So, um, four days before I came back home, and then weighing skill my after a week, I was 94 kgs. So, it turns out you don't lose a lot of weight so after you give birth. You just only lose basically. Tabago baby go wait and then you alkati tabago amniotic fluid and placenta, whatever comes out, which is not a whole lot. So my little child kilo matre lose gare hospital work on the heady. So my weight loss journey started from 94 kgs. Um so a lot of you have asked what was my weight before and what was my weight now. So I say currently my weight is um 83 kgs. So this is almost six months into postpartum. How I got there, say we'll slowly talk about that. So first, um, all of them questions are is about prep Nepal. First, let me tell you when did I start my diet after how many months of postpartum. So first of all, I'm a full-time breastfeeding mom. I know so I live any more exclusively the bandi na because I say I top up formula because totally too low by secure and sometimes I feel like breast milk is not pure because it's too used to lack so we like to demand got that here so more top up got it formula milk quite into which is okay even you can do that there is no harm in doing that that are that body and even throughout the days a maximum time say more breastfeed negor to baby like so diet but maybe take it up because demand ma about three three ko kura ra ayola that I am actually following a diet does not does not mean that I am doing a crash diet or a liquid diet or like some like toxins or down the or okay I am just going on a fruit diet so that it's nothing like that and none of this is recommended for me. You should never do that. First of all, if you're breastfeeding, uh, postpartum moms, I will never go on like a completely detox diet or completely after diet change. Gone, do not go on. Because when you detox diet, gone, when all the detoxins, everything comes out through your blood streams ne? and since you're breastfeeding it's not good you're going to give it to your baby so tyo prakar ko diet kailo pani na garnus secondly ek chuti what the bhut khana sana chhod dine ek chuti what the diet supply kam garne tyo kam pani na garnus because you're breastfeeding so it's minimum requirement that tapai at least 1800 to 2000 calories tapai din ma khane parcha because you're breastfeeding you want to make sure that your baby gets enough amount of milk 
Thirdly, tapay diet may zano ba? Two thousand calories na din ko kano ba? But make sure it's like a perfect blend of everything. You need to have fats, proteins, carbs, sugar, sapay cheese. Kapan tapay ka ako diet para cross out na ganon. Because it's not just about the quantity, but also the quality of your milk that you feeding to your baby. So, tapay ko system masay ramro proper healthy diet zano ba sa? So, oily. Having said that, what am I eating then? More prep na pal para kana kaya ako su. First question, I'm sure a lot of you must be asking, how was I able to trust Prep Nepal? So Prep Nepal does their own garments, right? They're a husband and wife. The wife, wife, do garments. She is also a postpartum mom, right? So only six months till now, right? So wife, right? And she is also following this diet. So this is a couple that experimented first, afeli, afei mati, before they made the plans and then they distributed to all of us. So they probably know ki more breastfeeding mother ho banera. So jun malai khana aunsa, like I told you, it's a perfect blend of everything that I need to be eating. But tiyo banda pani dhere man na pugya jisto bhayo ya jol na pugya jisto bhayo bani se wahan le malai diuso belka tapala boglai ko anusar tapay ko bari le magi ko anusar madzali dal khano jol aru khano. And if you feel sometimes Like oh, all kathi malai boglas to boy, khana na pugya to boy. Bense malai nuts zaru, almond zaru, pistachio zaru. Pani khano banu bako sa. So everybody is different, okay? Prep Nepal ko tinta plans sa. They have lean, they have power, and they have extreme. So lean is 1800 calories a day, which is what I am doing. Not not everybody is same, like I said. Bense ni malai say 1800. Suru suru ma khana kiri say. First week just to say bogla ati okay. एकदम भोगला थे बिकॉज अब कति खाई रखो बानी बड़े क्यों चीज़ वाद्य करो ना हरी ऑब्वियसली योर बॉडी इज यूज्ड टू ते खाली को क्वांटिटी ऑफ़ फ़ूड सो योर बॉडी विल लुक फॉर मोर फ़ूड सो ते देखने से माले एकदम ही देरी दाल पेल थे दूसरे अपने एक कोचर दाल खान दे बिरका पन दाल खान तेरे तो जाने बेटर अब ऑयल तो मैं फोर्थ वीक मार्च हूँ सो मेरे एप्पेटाइट एकदम ही कंट्रोल पाई सके हो पर अपने पाल को फूड बंदा बाहेक मतलब बाहर की पनी ऑयल से खानू पड़े कुछ आई ना दैट्स ऑल दैट आई एम हैविंग सो हैविंग सेड दैट मेरे प्लान इज लीन बट डजन्ट मीन कि तब अपने अपने लीन ने सूट हो जा बने रस तबे को बॉडी टाइप कॉस्ट होता है, तबे लाइक कौन सी को भोग लाग सा। इफ यू फील लाइक ओके 1800 कैलोरीज इज समथिंग आई कैन डू, और इफ यू एक्सक्लूसिवली ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग, देन आई सेल मेबी यू कैन ट्राई आउट उन्हें लाइक पावर ब्लैंड जून 2000 कैलोरीज हो, और इवन एक्सट्रीम जून 2400 कैलोरीज हो। बेसिकली just trying to eat what my body needs and getting rid of all the junk. Jun mal pregnancy body bani khaira oily bani khaira the because bani to July ban lai sakhi but you keep wanting to eat all that little al kis to al kis to ani wonder khaira kum so I mean so that's how we are letting our body go. So make sure you don't do that. Ro tio niyam jun mal yano ko lai sakhi mal prep ne pahle help kore ko. Now I see a lot of questions where people have also asked me, has it worked then? Prep ne pahle kore sakhi but is it worth it? Have you lost weight? So when I started prep Nepal ko diet on <coughs> the first of Jan, because December ma kiwa bani mere bhai ko wedding bani thiyo, ani ma ali ani Dubai sahi ko the before that, right? Na jun mo 94 ma the bani thi ma 87, 88 samai sahi kya the, but bhai ko wedding sakhi na bhai goi sahi pashi I hit like 90 again, um, and this is December 26 ma, and that's when it hit me really hard. I was like, oh, but I need to start losing weight. I can't still be eating everything that's given to me or the food craving. So I need something that's going to keep me in check. So December 26 is when I had a talk with them everything. So Jan 1st, I was going to eat food. I was going to end my life. I believe it's on. Today is the 26th, I believe, yeah. So 26 days, I'd say. Uh, 90 kgs but I've come down to 83 kgs so yes I did lose 7 kgs but then I have also I also have a lot of questions just make you so no as only prep Nepal le matri gare ro weight loss pa ko bande ta see my le prep Nepal ko khana matri kha ko boye shayad mo yo almost ek mana ma du tin kilo ta maddu blau te hola because prep Nepal ko stories here the hari oro oro bani client le mahar ko weight loss ko baare ma lekh no ansa and I see that they've lost 2-3 kgs but my le say what else have I done is I also exercise now again, exercise one. Maybe you guys might have so many questions in your head because malat mere upani cesarean section gari ko ho, and I am just six months postpartum, which means there's only a few kinds of exercises I can do. So my doctor sa upani consult karera. What my doctor have said has said is, 
uh, abdomen area ma ekdam pressure lagne like let's say crunches or yeah, jumping jacks or yeah, running kickboxing any of these things you cannot do right now because your wound is still healing but that doesn't mean you don't exercise at all bistari start karne so i started by walking mother treadmill mane incline gare ra walk garchu ani bistari with time i started increasing my incline and increasing my speed bistari actually sakeko samma matre uh, because the ekdam dheri garnu bhane it's too much for your body to take uh, so go slowly according to your own pace tapai lai kati ko speed le comfortable feel huncha tesari nai garnus so tesari nai garde aai raheko chu ma aile samma ma chai haina ra exercise garne bela ma there were a lot of things that i also went through first of all paitala ekdam paitala dukhcha malai aile pani dukhcha tara with exercise say what i've noticed is mero the pain ekdam kam bhako cha haina र अर्को कुरा मैले चाहिँ के फेस गरेको थियो भने भेरिकोस वेन्स इफ यू डोन्ट नो व्हाट इट इज आई एम गन अटैच एन इमेज हियर जुन मेरो चाहिँ बडीको वेट मेरो जिउले धान्न नसक्ने स्टेट 90 केजी इज नट अ जोक यु नो म पुगिसकेपछि चाहिँ मेरो खुट्टाहरु स्वेल हुने अनि हिँड्दाखेरि पनि अलिकति गाह्रो हुने यतातिरको मेरो वेन्सहरु एकदम लाइक पप आउट भएर बाहिर आको जस्तो सो अ लट अफ दिस थिंग्स पनि वाज लाइक अ रिमाइन्डर टु मी कि ओ माय गॉड आई हैव टु गेट ब्याक टु शेप सो बाय सेइंग आई वांट टु लूज वेट इट्स नथिंग अगेंस्ट हाउ आई लुक और हाउ आई फील ओ माय गॉड मोटिव सो त्यो खालीको नेगेटिभिटी ले होइन आई वांट टु लूज वेट बिकॉज staying fit staying healthy is always good for you isn't it it's good for your insides when you're healthy and when you're in a comfortable weight according to your height that we could be am i or milli ko sabe ne you know it's it's good you feel good rog ko titi chiru lagdena your cholesterol will be in check blood pressure maintained unsa so everything basically comes like maintained once you're in in shape so maile pani achieve garnu khojeko chai tei ho i want to get back in shape and i'm not rushing it बिस्तारी मेरे टार्गेट इज टू येस बी बैक एट वेर आई वॉज एकजना सो डू यू प्लान टू गेट योर बॉडी इन टू शेप लाइक इट वॉज बिफोर डेफिनेटली बट एम आई इन अ रस नो आई एम टेकिंग इट स्लोली वन स्टेप एट अ टाइम आई एम इंजोइंग मदरहुड एट द सेम टाइम ब्रेस्ट फीड गरी डाको सो आई नो हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इट इज फर मी टू हेव माई क्यारी इन चेक सो दैट माई बेबी इज एबल टू फीड प्रपरली सो ये सब कुछ ध्यान में राखी रखे सो धेजा के सोच्वक हेज इट इफेक्टेड माई मिल्क सप्लाई यू नो क्वाइट अनेस्टली मैं फील कर आफ्टर आई एव सारे टेकिंग प्रेप नेपाल को मिल्स मेरे मिल्क सप्लाई हेज गटन बेटर आई एम नट इवन एक्जेजुरेटिंग एंड आई थिंक ये कसरी हो इंस्टेड अफ इटिंग जेपाइते जंक वर एवर कमिंग माई वे एंड ट्राइंग टू बी लाइक फुल I am now full in a way where I know कि सब चीज मेरे जीवला पुगि रखा बिकज प्रेप नेपाल ने मैं पठान होने खाना में तो प्रोटीन देखि फैट्स देखि कार्ब्स देखि एवरीथिंग सुगर एवरीथिंग इज बैलेंस्ड इट्स द राइट अमाउंट दैट आई नीड एंड प्लस तेस में म सप्लिमेंट कर दाल मजा खाई रखे झोल खाई रखे सो विच मिन्स हो सायद है बट मैं फील भग माई ब्रेस्ट मिल्क हेज सप्लाई हेज गटन बेटर So yeah there are a lot of breastfeeding moms who wrote to me saying is it okay to go on a diet i also want to lose weight especially belly part ma ani ekjana anjuli likhnu bacha i followed your story and i saw that you've lost weight 2 to 3 kg in 15 days i don't know if you did it properly is that the right way so basically again summing everything up together i have lost weight yes but i have tried to do it in a very very healthy way i have um followed the a proper diet plan consulting with lactation specialist and nutritionists and uh, khana ko quantity kam gare ko aina maile khali makke khadesu just watching it and just trying to eat healthy and also tell i maile backup gare ko so exercise le pani so that is how i have lost weight if you guys also start doing that then yes beginning might it be hard but then stay focused stay consistent and um, you guys will also be able to do it So do you have stretch marks when so no book so according to Julie yes i do have stretch marks and i think it's completely okay it's nothing to be ashamed about or shy about it's part of motherhood my stretch marks and the, the way i look right now is it, it's all a result of my pregnancy and my beautiful baby is here with me right now so i don't regret any of it i don't think you should either stretch marks bisari poshi fade bhaya also pure na gaye pani I mean, it'll stay with you, but but what the heck? It's a part of you, right? That's how I look at it. Our question, kya kosa bani? Have I been body shamed till now? 
Actually, I have, quite honestly. I have been body shamed. Especially like I told you, So every other person that I would see or meet at the wedding, the first thing, I would be like, oh my God, So you guys might not feel it or it might not hit to you that these phrases are actually body shaming but it's like Nepal ma chali aayeko chalan jasto ho ke yo i think hamro desh ma chai how are you oh how are you feeling bhanda pani pahila kati mota aayeko kati blaeko bhanne khali ko desh bhanta yo so i dealt with it a lot uh, did it affect me a lot no it didn't quite honestly because i know i have gained weight i just gave birth you know but then having said that dheira jana sensitive hunu pani saknu huncha yesto kura le affect garna saksha uh, it might hit you mentally uh, but don't let it affect you because uh, to all the moms out there struggling with your weight um, postpartum you can do it if you can push a human being out of your body then you can actually do anything uh, so start watching your diet just watch what you're eating um, if you prefer cooking at home and eating, then just make sure ki them fatty food, them deep fried junk or avoid garnathalnos. Make sure you have more greens, more veggies. Maybe boil them. Uh, maybe a little butter ma matre stir fry garera khanos. Tabeko vegetables, chicken lai. Unsani? You can eat everything. Just a little quantity matre yad garnos. And also, if you guys want to ask me if prep Nepal was a good decision, then yes, for me it really was. It really worked for me. try packages. Like I said, go ahead, write to them. I am attaching their Instagram ID right here. They reply to you very, very fast. So go ahead and give it a try if you want to. And if not, Malay exactly keep in sold no bako so when a gohari ma bossera pani kosto kaliko diet plans or follow on a sakin so help us beginners who cannot afford dietitians or who cannot afford to order food from anywhere else yeah let's make keep on so when a just watch what you're eating don't eat too much oily too much fried junk you all get the calm gurnus all get the whole dairy punus how would you opt for healthy eating when any greens or dairy honey salads or honey on the dal bc dal good matter i'll get the Basic or ne, bhat ka matra alke thi kam or ne, veggies zaru dehi khane, chicken or khano wa, but ekdam dehi deep fry or ekdam variety banana na khane, just maybe boiled or just maybe halka grill or khane. So tapay ke hath maas hoyi upani, and one step at a time, you will not achieve results overnight. So take it slow, and the most important thing is love yourself, love your body, love where you are right now, and um, be steady, you'll get there. So I hope this little. Uh, Priyanka talk was uh, helpful. So if you guys want to reach out to me, ask me about anything, uh, you can write down in the comment section below, pani, or you can just DM to me. I will try to individually answer. Malapani khase ke ita khase na. That because I've started this road to um, getting back into shape, I'd love to help any one of you if you need any of this help. So I hope uh, as a good this little interaction was productive. Um, thank you very much. Keep watching. Love you.